Hello Tangerities! This week we gave you guys some surveys because we were going to guess the survey answers and react to those. So there was a survey for me and a survey for her. She's read the answers for mine. I've read the answers for her. We're in separate rooms just laughing our asses off. So I think you guys are going to like this video today. First question was multiple choice. How many piercings have you gotten in your life? I'm going to guess that people are going to say much fewer than I actually have. I currently don't have anything in, but I think people are going to say five. But the correct answer is 10. Five is the most popular answer and 10 is, 10 is pretty far down there. 10, how many ears do you have? Oh uh, no, no, it's uh, just two in each, total to four, five. So you're right about the ones that you can see, but I'll just leave you guessing what the rest of them were. <laughs> Where did Jordan try tamales for the first time? The correct answer is Guanajuato. Don't watch that video. No, definitely watch that video. <laughs> definitely. It's so embarrassing. Definitely watch that video. <laughs> A cinco pesos los tamales. Cinco pesos los tamales. What are you doing? Don't you don't eat, eat the, thing. You don't eat the outside. Oh. You're like hyena. That was scary. I thought I was supposed to eat the outside. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know how these work. So that's a correct answer, but our channel only had 250 subscribers when we made that video. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing not a lot of people have seen it. And I tried them for the second time in Guadalajara when our channel was a bit bigger. So I'm going to guess that people said Guadalajara. And that guess would be right. These are the correct answers with Guadalajara being first and Guanajuato being second with a close third. Puerto Vallarta. Okay, I'm impressed. The first two places I tried it were the top two answers. This question is, what's your favorite Mexican food of all time? I'm guessing people are gonna say tlayudas because we were just talking about that in a live video, but that's actually not the correct answer. I think my favorite Mexican food of all time, although this is really, really hard to name just one, the food that makes me the absolute happiest no matter where we go because I find it delicious. It's like my guilty pleasure, greatest of all time. That's esquites. Okay, here we go. This is crema, queso, eat the heen on top, which isn't spicy, and oh my gosh, best ever. Okay, well, let's reveal the answers. Oh, yes, keep this wins. Good job, you guys. But chilaquiles got second and mole got third, so you might oh, be a little... <laughs> you can't have mole. It has sesame seeds and onions and I'm allergic to both. <laughs> well, good job on the esquites, but I mean, I do go on and on and on about those like, all the time. Maybe we should go on to your what animal does Jordan resemble the most question. Do you have any guesses on that one? What's that dog that looks like a mop? I think it's some kind of sheep dog. I'm gonna go with that. The number one on here really surprised me. 12 people said giraffe. That was Do I have that number, long of a neck? Maybe because your nose is angular. Was that the most common answer? That was the most- Giraffe? One person said specifically hairy giraffe. What? One, one person said Melman the giraffe from Madagascar. <laughs> <laughs> and then one person said baby giraffe. Baby giraffes are really cute. Have you ever seen a picture of baby giraffe? Have you ever seen them try to walk? Category that comes in next, which technically wins because there were 30 people who said this, but they weren't 30 specifically. It's okay. dog or puppy. 10 people said dog or puppy, and then 30 total, including four people who said a shaggy dog, including an Afghan. This is an Afghan dog. Did anyone say uh, Husky or Alaska I'm for get, me? I'm getting there. Next popular is Laska with three. I actually do think you look like Laska. You guys both have pretty blue eyes. And Blonde hair. Next animal, we had eight people that said you look like a lion. I can definitely see that. Oh yeah, like, I, 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 right got, I got the whole thing, I got the whole mane going on. Seven total people said some type of bird, four of which said, Hi, I'm a bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hi, yeah, I'm a bird. What we have here. Oh, I'm a bird. I'm just going to pick the ground. Oh, I'm gonna run away from you, bird. Ah. Uh, that's funny. Six people said lemur. Two people, two actual people said King Julian, the ring tailed lemur from Madagascar. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of the questions I'm most excited for. <laughs> if you weren't a YouTuber, what would your job be? I have a hard time guessing this one, like any specific job. I feel like there's gonna be some Weisenheimers out there that are gonna say like stripper or pole dancer or something. <laughs> but if people know me, I'm guessing they're gonna say something in design. Six people said 
dancer or exotic dancer? Uh huh. <laughs> Why is it Heimer's? <laughs> the seven people said graphic designer. Okay. Okay, then I, I do have a background in graphic design, so that makes sense. And, and sort of related to that, eight people said artist. Two of those specified a tattoo artist. Interesting. Well, I do have lots of tattoos, so... But the top answers, number one was a travel agent. Travel agent, okay. Number two was a teacher, with nine people saying that. A teacher. And two specified a gymnastics teacher. Oh, also known as a coach. Also known as a gymnastics <laughs> coach. The third most popular answer was tour guide with one person specifying a sassy tour guide. That's definitely the most right. I would be <laughs> sassy AF. <laughs> and then we have a few, we have a few interesting ones. Oh no. <laughs> Professional TikToker. Professional TikToker. <laughs> a scientist researching how to eliminate humidity. That's a very worthwhile career change. <laughs> yeah, somebody should really be working on that. <laughs> a turkey whisperer. Well, there's a big ass turkey right here. Nope. <laughs> a lizard wrangler. A lizard wrangler? <laughs> and an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> and on Jordan's survey, he also had the question, if you weren't a YouTuber, what would your job be? I'm gonna go with hockey player because I got the hair going, I got the flow. <laughs> well, you did get seven people that said something sports related, four of which said you would be a hockey player or a hockey all-star or the next Wayne Gretzky, or my personal favorite of the sports category, champion eel wrestler. Champion eel wrestler. Eels creep me out. I don't like eels. You could be a champion at wrestling then though. You never know. That wasn't the number one, by the way. The number one was related to finances. So either a financial advisor, financial planner, or financial consultant. 30 people said that including well. one of whom said some boring financial job. <laughs> Which is probably what I would say too. <laughs> Next, with nine people, said IT. One person said a tech at the Apple Store or on the Geek Squad. You would not want me to be your Geek Squad tech, <laughs> I assure you. <laughs> we also had some really interesting career changes for you. A hand model. Let me see those hands. Uh -huh. You could have a future there, Jordan. <laughs> Someone said a librarian, Jordan would drive the bookmobile to questionable neighborhoods and check out books to pimps, prostitutes, and gang members who want to better themselves, the person says. <laughs> Your next question is, should Jordan get a haircut? This has been a popular debate on our channel for probably about three months now, and counting, ongoing because of quarantine. I think people are gonna get sassy with this one and say I look like a homeless person. I was maybe the most shocked by the results of this one. You got an even tie on three of them. Wow. Right? Yes, he's starting to look like a homeless person. Maybe just a trim, and yes, but only if Maddie does it. What would you like to do? Mostly, yeah, I'm just rocking the flow right now. <laughs> rocking the flow. <laughs> Your next question is, if you were a plant or an animal, what would you be? Um, I'm not really sure what people are gonna say for this, but if I had to guess, maybe some type of a flower, like a sunflower or something, because I'm always wearing these flowers in my hair to match whatever I'm wearing. The most popular answer was sunflower with 15 people. No way! Yeah. The next most popular was dog. 14 people said dog, seven specified a husky, and two specified Alaska. Oh. But also, someone said, well, not Alaska, because then there'd be no Alaska and that would be horrible. Oh, that would be horrible. <laughs> some other popular answers. Uh, 11 said some kind of bird. 8 said cat. Butterfly, lily, and monkey, 6 each. I thought at first it was a butterfly lily, and then I wanted to know what exactly <laughs> a butterfly lily was. Sounds like it'd be really pretty. Three people said Venus flytrap. Ouch. Ouch, you guys. <laughs> one person said a sexy beast. Wow, oh, thank you. <laughs> a few people said sloth, and one person specified a sloth, but a hyper one, that the other sloths are like, okay, calm it down. <laughs> That kind of does describe me because I'm very energetic, but also I can be very tired and lazy and not want to do a whole lot sometimes. An acrobatic house cat because she's a former gymnast. Oh, 
that's accurate. A vine because she goes where she wants. I like that. And Maddie would be a cactus because she likes dry heat. <laughs> <laughs> I think when we were talking about this before, when I was thinking like what my guess would be, I think I, I said that some you of my guess exactly cactus. That. Because I like dry heat and I don't like humidity. You did good on this one. You did really good. <laughs> As did you. Sunflower. I'm impressed. With I cannot you. believe of, I of guessed that. Of all the plants and edibles, you guessed sunflower? <laughs> the most popular answer. Your next question is How tall are you? And they could answer anything from 4'10 to 5'8, and it was multiple choice. I'm going to guess that they either thought I was way shorter than I am or way taller than I am. I'm 5'3. Well, five people said 4'10. I'm not that short. I used to be. I was always the shortest person in my class. Always. But the most popular answer was 5'2". Oh, okay. And then 5'3 was second most popular. All right, well, you guys nailed it. You also had this question, how tall is mm -hmm. Jordan? It started for you at 5'5 five five and capped off at 6'2". We've met people in person who've been like, oh, you're shorter than I thought you were gonna be. <laughs> so. I think they're going to guess taller than I am. I am almost 5'10 if I'm measured right when I'm getting out of bed. <laughs> Before gravity is set in. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty evenly spread between 5'9 and 5'11. With 5'9 with being the most popular. 5'9 wins. So, like, you guys did a great job for both of us. Your next question is, besides gong that bell, if you haven't yet gong that bell and subscribe. <laughs> Besides gong that bell, what word or phrase do you say the most? I think people might say, hello, tangerines, because I always say that at the beginning of videos. And we have gotten comments before saying, can, I, can we stop saying super? Apparently I say like, oh, that's super cool, super awesome, this is super good. I say super a lot, I guess. I don't think a single person said super. Okay, that's good. But some form of hello tangerines <laughs> was the number one most popular guess. I can't believe I got that one too. 33 said, hello tangerines. <laughs> Patent pen. <laughs> 16, El Centro del Centro. Centro del Centro, yeah. El Centro del Centro. <laughs> one person said, ah, mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> Use your own hand sanitizer. Oh my gosh, it was yeah. sucking all of my blood. I'm getting dengue for sure. Oh, I am so over this park. It's filled with mosquitoes. I have had a few mosquito freakouts in our videos. A couple people said some form of this. This is the best meal I've ever had. <laughs> we have so many good meals. Like, what a great life. <laughs> and then one person said, Charles Schwab. Schwab. <laughs> Anytime I get an opportunity to say that, you better believe I'm gonna. <laughs> Who's your celebrity lookalike? What I think people are gonna say are the two or slash three that people most commonly say. Paul McCartney or Paul McCartney's daughter, Stella. Or they always go, that one time at band camp, and they're referring to- uh, Allison Alice Hannigan. And, Allison Hannigan. So those are my guesses. So two people did say Allison Hannigan. <laughs> Only two. Two. That's out, surprising. Out that's, of like 200. And we get that so often in the comment section. Yeah, and one person said Paul McCartney. But the most popular answers. I'm intrigued. Nine said Reese Witherspoon. And one specified a young Reese Witherspoon. Well, if I take that as a huge compliment because she's really pretty. We do have the same face shape though because when uh -huh. I've looked up what haircut should you get if you have a heart-shaped face, she always comes up. Next most popular was Jennifer Aniston. Six people said Jennifer Aniston. I also take that as a huge compliment because she's so pretty. Three said Jodie Foster. I can kind of see that. Three said Emma Stone. She kind of has like a quirky face and I kind of have like a quirky face. Three said Kristen Bell. Also a huge compliment. One mentioned her cousin, Tinkerbell. Her cousin? Oh, Kristen Bell, <laughs> Tinkerbell. Okay, that's, that's a good one. I see what you did there. <laughs> and Kermit the Frog. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> would you like to know who your celebrity lookalikes are? Yes, I would. Okay. We'll get right back to the video in a moment, but if you're enjoying this video and want to see more from our channel, 
please subscribe. And gong that bell! So you get notified whenever we release a new video or start a live video. So who is your celebrity look like? Well, the one I've been getting for quite a few years now, over and over and over, is Michael Sarah. The most popular one was Michael Sarah. Next, Jack Shepard. That's actually Kristen Bell's husband. So people picked our celebrities oh, who okay. are actually married in real life. <laughs> Four people said Scooby-Doo's friend Shaggy. <laughs> but, uh, oh my god! <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg, he's the guy from the Facebook. Oh, okay. I, I was I was thinking Jesse I, Pinkman from Breaking Bad. All the guys from Friends combined. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got some female celebrity lookalikes: Barbara Streisand. <laughs> oh my god! And Emma Watson. Emma Watson. <laughs> your next question is: What's your favorite TV show of all time? Multiple choice question. So the least true answers on that list is that I don't watch TV. I do watch TV. I love watching TV shows and I love watching movies. With that said though, for a long time traveling throughout Mexico, we were just so busy with what oh, we yeah. were doing and oftentimes we didn't even have a TV or cable in our place. True, and then we, we did say things to that effect sometimes. But oh. me as a whole, I grew up and that's like a way that I bonded with my family, like we would have movie nights and we really enjoyed doing mm -hmm. that. I think people are going to say New Girl because that show really has a lot of my humor, my style of humor. My number one favorite show ever of all time is How I Met Your Mother. All right, well, the most popular answer was Maddie doesn't watch TV. You're kidding me! The next most popular is The Office, which you've never seen. I've never seen The Office. I've, I've tried watching it. For some reason, I don't find it funny. Please don't come after me. I don't know why I don't like that show. Alrighty, your next question is, if you were a cocktail, what would you be? Well, you know, a tall glass of water. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Knee slapper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with an aged scotch, 18 year old scotch. The most popular answer was margarita. Okay, yeah, I mean, that fits me. One person said Cadillac margarita, one person said a spicy margarita, one person said a spicy watermelon margarita. That I, sounds really good. I, I want one. Yeah, yeah, I want one of those now too. The runner up is mojito, with 10 people saying mojito. Tying for runner up is a tequila sunrise. Not surprised about these tequila drinks being on here. I wouldn't mm. be surprised if a shot of tequila was on here. Yes, uh, it then goes Pina Colada, eight people said that, and then seven people said a shot of tequila. We've got six who said White Russian. I love White Russians and Colorado Bulldogs too, mm -hmm. really good. Three people said something that confused me at first because it was shrimp, shrimp, and pulpo. And I'm like, a shrimp cocktail, oh. Uh, I get it. <laughs> Your next question, multiple choice, where would you prefer to live the most? Recently, I have been complaining to High Heaven about how much I don't like the humidity. So I would honestly be surprised if anyone said quaint cottage on the beach. Okay, that's the most popular answer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my top picks would be a cabin. cabin in the mountains or a lake house. I wanted to share something with you because I'm sure you're excited to get out of the house, get moving again, maybe get to traveling. Before you go booking a flight or a hotel or buying a new outfit online, we recommend downloading Rakuten. It's a free extension that you can add on to your browser and whenever you go to any website, it will pop up telling you how much cash back you can get and that's just excellent extra money in your pocket. It doesn't cost you anything additional. You can actually get 10 smackaroonies back on your first qualifying purchase if you use the link that we provide in the description below. And then we get a little chunk of change from that, which is really helpful for us because it helps us continue to make videos. We really wanna give an extra special thank you to everyone who submitted a survey. You really gave us so many good laughs. I was laughing so hard. He was. Laughing. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more from us, please subscribe to our channel. And on the end screen here, we're going to link a playlist of all the videos that we've made from the start of our journey in Mexico until now here in Puerto Morelos. One more thing before you go. Gong that bell! So you'll be the first to be notified whenever we release those videos or start a live video. And we'll see you soon.